everybody. It is November 17th, and today is Wednesday. I think I said yesterday was Wednesday. Anyway, today is November 17th, and happy day, happy hump day. I know that Frank likes to say that, uh, and he does a video about it. Uh, pretty cute. So what's going on? Um, we have 31 days of inventory, and that is really fantastic. Um, the number got adjusted because uh, we're not selling as many homes as we were at the beginning of the month. So uh, I, I adjusted that. Um, and, and that is in the Valley zip codes. I want everybody to understand that these stats up here are for the zip codes in the Valley. And I'll post those again in the group so you know what zip codes there are. And recently we added high rises because high rises, they sell. I mean, we sold five, we closed five yesterday. So, um, you know, they are part of our uh, inventory. And I added that to it. <clears throat> um, before they took the areas away, High Rise was a selection at some point, And then they took it away, which I didn't realize. But now it's back. So that's a good thing. Anyway, um, we listed 74 single family homes yesterday. And 28 of those were $400,000 or under, which gives us a total under 400 and under of 754 homes. That's really good. And again, like I said, in class yesterday, we had a great class yesterday on agency. Jimmy Dagg just, he just knocks it out of the ballpark. Uh, everybody was just uh, thrilled with the information they learned. And not only did they learn about agency, but they learned about other things as well. And um, it was a, just a fantastic class. But I was telling everybody, um, you know, what a stable market that we have right now. It's very stable. And, um, you know, we list homes, we sell homes and, and we are churning. So that's really good. We are selling 45 um, homes to non-owner occupieds and the, um, the Zillows and the non-MLS and the offer pads and Hort DR Horton and um, Lennar are selling 12 of our homes are selling 12 homes a day. Uh, so there's plenty to go around. We are doing four uh, million dollar plus homes and we're like knocking that out of the ballpark from last year. And like we said in class yesterday, this number really hasn't changed. I think I even said it yesterday on the show. This number keeps steady at four a day. That's pretty good. Um, of course, we know why. It's because all those California people are coming here, right? And that's uh, that's fine. I'm going to turn my speaker down here. Every time I get an email, it dings. Um, so, uh, and I, uh, I wanted to show this to you today. Let me put this down here. Okay, so mortgage payment scenario of waiting to buy. And I think this is something. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Debbie from Advantage Realty. Good to see you. Good to see you. Wonder where our Karen is. She'll probably show up, huh? Yeah, I started on time today because I'm we're in a little time crunch. Uh, John and I have to go to the doctors. So um, I'm going to be rushing through these things. However, the cost of waiting to buy is really, really important. Um, if the interest rate in increases just by half a percent, uh, and by that time, you know, this, the price of the homes are going to go up a little bit, maybe, uh, you know, one and a half percent or something. And so that's going to mean that the sales price is higher, the interest rate is higher, the payment dis difference just on principal and interest is $131. And that's a lot of money, uh, you know, to this to this price range. And then if you look down here um, at at the breakdown, this is uh, one of the things Jimmy brought to my attention is in our previous example, we didn't show the monthly mortgage insurance. So when you put 10 percent down, there is monthly mortgage insurance of one hundred and fifty six dollars. So I added that in for the total payment of two thousand one hundred thirty seven dollars. If somebody gets a mortgage at 400,000 puts 10% down, the interest rate is 3%. So this includes everything, including now the um, the mortgage insurance. So um, that's $2,137. And if you add 131 to it, now you're up to 2260 almost $70, $2,270. That makes a big difference. And it also, when you look at this, this is something else that I think we need to be able to um, explain to people. The additional cost for seven years is 11,000. Over 30 years, it's 47,000. So this is real money. This is real money, even though we kind of don't see it 
it's 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 taking away from you know our uh, our income. So I wanted to bring that to everybody's attention. I'll post this also on the group. Um, and if I can do this for all different kinds of price ranges, if you're an Asian Formula member, we do have landing pages uh, about the cost of waiting based on price. And it's a single page, get their email address and they get downloaded the information. So um, really cool. Now today, um, one of the things that we ended up with yesterday, you know, we watched Tom Ferry and he was talking about what are you building? You know, and I love what are you building? Let's see, what are you building? And are you building a house made of straw, a house made of twigs? Or are you building a solid foundation for your business that no matter what happens to the market, how it shifts, you're going to be there. You're going to stand strong. And one of the best things that you need to decide, we're building our business since last, what, Monday, almost a week ago. And we've been going through the different steps of how you build a business plan. And what you want to end up with is this. You want to end up with a solid business plan that withstands the Zillows of the world and whatever they're going to do, the iBuyer platforms, whatever they're going to do, the market shifting, the interest rates going up. You know, all these things are going to happen. It's real estate. We're in a really nice place right now. This year has been awesome with the interest rates maintaining themselves, with the prices not going too out of whack. And we still have 139 people moving here. It's a perfect storm for you all. It couldn't, I, I can't think of a better time to build a your business plan for 2022 and have all the components that you need while this market's so healthy, then as, cause it's going to shift. It's just a matter of when, and I'm, I'm not fear mongering, believe me, I don't believe in that, but I do know that things have cycles and we have to accept reality. It's reality. Things will shift. So what I want to do today is, is show you a little clip um, about about being strong and how and, and how important it is to get your mindset in the right place. Because if you believe that you want to make $400,000 next year uh, and net $300,000, you have to have a solid plan to do that. So we're going to watch. Uh, I've got a little clip here we're going to watch. And like I said, after that, I got to run. Uh, we've got a class next week. I'll tell you now it's on ethics on Monday and it counts for your quadrennial, your biennial, whatever they're calling it nowadays. Um, I've seen it several different things, but anyway, the ethics class counts. It's 10 to one next Monday, sign up at be.vegas. And I'm going to get, uh, get this show on the road, um, so that you get the benefits here. Uh, let's see. I don't want that. I'm going to put myself down here. Oh, I am down there. Okay, good. Oh, Ruth. I know. Don't hurry. Don't hurry. Slow down. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Sorry, everybody. You know me. Spastic is a word. <laughs> All right. We want to make our business as sustainable as possible that can work through up markets and down markets that's always going to be relevant. They're always going to be competitive. So it's more of a metaphorical example. And I love, like, when I'm face-to-face, -face, literally I will say, like, what's your business made out of? And I will have people say, some bricks, some sticks, and some hay, which always makes me laugh. But my point to you is metaphorically, as we sit here with, you know, many days left, certainly for 2021 and a whole year in front of us for 2022, I want to ask you some big questions. And then I want to challenge you. This, we're going to get a little workshoppy here. So this isn't just you listening. Here's my first question. You ready? What does your dream business look like? What does your dream business look like? So I'm going to tell you a couple stories. You ready? Everybody look up here. Can you see this bottle? Okay, looks like a regular bottle of wine, yes? What is unique about this bottle? Yvonne says, no, can you please send that to me? What is unique about this bottle is that in 1998, two friends of mine were on a golf course in Vancouver, and what they refer to as on the 19th hole, right? They were having drinks, and they both said, we love food, we love wine, we should create a winery. And of course, I think after the second drink or maybe the third drink, it went from we should create a winery to what if we created the greatest winery Napa Valley has ever seen? And I remember as my dear friend Chris, who's a partner in other businesses now, he said, I flew home, right, which he's you know, from Toronto and Jason's from Vancouver, these two friends. 
He said, I flew home. And he said, I'm working one day. So remember, it's 1988, 19, you know, or 1998, 1999. He said, all of a sudden, a fax comes across my desk. Now, some of you have to Google what a fax is, but the fax machine hits, and it's an offer to buy an iconic plot of land in Napa Valley. And they say, oh, he later says to me, Tom, Jason just went there without me, wrote an offer, and then sent it to me and said, hey, look, Remember we had that conversation about that wine? I found the land, let's go do it. I found the land, let's go do it. They agree on it. They bring out their first wine in 2002. So from 2002 to yesterday, they have 27 perfect 100s. The most in all of Napa Valley and now the most in the world. What are you building? They said, we're going to build the best wine ever. What are you building? Like, did you wake up when you first got into this business and said, you know what I want to be? I want to be an average real estate agent. You know what I want to be? I want to be that agent that has a lot of fun, that has a lot of friends, that makes a bunch of money, never can able, able to pay their taxes, is always behind, emotionally, all, that, that's what I wrote down. I don't think so. See, I think the vast majority of you never stop to say, what am I truly building? Right? Yvonne knows, Doug knows, many of my coaches know, Many, many years ago, now almost 19 years ago, I left my home at 9 o'clock in the morning. I said to my wife, hey, I'm going to go meet with my mentor. She's like, oh, what are you doing with Bill? I said, well, we're going to talk about the new business and what I want to create. And I remember her saying to me, don't go too crazy. You know, don't go too crazy. And I'm like, oh, okay, baby. And I came home with 3,000 square feet sublease from the Irvine company with 11 employees and a $50,000 new monthly burn to start my business. And I came home and I'm like, hey, baby, guess what? Now, I don't know, how many of you are married? Raise your hands really high. I don't recommend doing this because it made a really interesting dinner conversation. No! But here was the key. When she's like, wait a minute, you left at nine, you came back at four, we've got 11 employees, you got space, we need to buy computers. I thought we were gonna do this in the garage. And I said, honey, remember when I left and I said, we're gonna start this new business, what did I say to you? We're gonna have 150 business coaches around the world. We're going to be the number one coaching company on the planet. And I said, and I'm going to be a recognizable face in this tiny little space called real estate. And when I'd say it to her, she would say to me, okay. And then I remind her, remember when we were dating and you said what you liked so much was my ambition? This is just my ambition on steroids. But here was the hook. You ready? I started that 19 years ago. Today I have 171 business coaches and now we have clients in 29 countries. I have coaches in eight different countries. And we're the number one coaching company eight years in a row. Now, here's my message to all of you. What are you building? Why are you doing this? I've been working hard, just like all of you, not for the last 20 months, for me, for the last 30 plus years. The difference is the last 19 years, I knew exactly what I was building. So every brick, every piece, Every new teammate, hey, let's try Beluga and see if it's as good as this upstart company called Facebook. Hey, Facebook's really good. Let's use that one. Hey, let's test direct mail. Hey, let's get good at email. Let's hire more people. All the while, my friends, look up here. I knew exactly where I was going. 150 coaches around the world, serving clients, number one in our space. And what was fascinating was sitting with all my dear friends. I mean, some of the most successful real estate teams and professionals on the planet. What are you building? And they would say things like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I just thought everyone else is building a team. I'll build a team. And I thought that's great, but it's probably not in their heart. So here's some of the questions. I'll, I want you to write down in your notes. Ready? What are you building? Right? What do you really want? What do you really want? Like from your business, what do you really want? And by the way, even if it's loose, it's better than saying nothing. Even if you just say, I want to be in the top 1% on my market. I want to have the most reviews than any other agent in town. I want to have what looks like, what looks like 100% of my business call in but it's not referrals, it's because I've done all this branding and all this marketing. 
I want to walk down the streets and have people go, oh, that's Sandy Warner. That's Sandy Warner. Oh, my goodness. We see her everywhere. Sandy, I actually wrote that down. I actually said, everywhere I go, I'm going to see people I know. And, and for my wife, who's very shy, not shy, but she's more, you know, she's got her super inner circle. And my inner circle is 11,000 million people. Everywhere we go, we run into somebody that we know. That was my design. It's what I said I'm building. What are you building? What do you want? Now, if you're, if you're watching this right now and you're like, I'm going to retire in three years, right? Don't worry about this. But if you have children that are taking over your business or someone else that's taking over your business, this is a really important conversation. Now, here's the next one. You ready? By the way, I had Kobe Bryant on there too, but that's a whole other story. Here's the second question I think you need to answer. What are the greatest strengths of your business today? What are the greatest strengths of your business today? What are the greatest strengths of your brand? What are your personal greatest strengths? What are the greatest strengths of your team? And you should be able to list them out. Like you could say, for example, I have an unbelievable buyer consultation. Tom, when you go through the numbers this afternoon, you say one out of two, I am like one for one on my buyer consultation. Great, awesome, let's build on that. Tom, I am an amazing geo farmer. I love on my farm as if it were my parents and friends. It is so natural and automatic for me. Tom, you know what? I'm really good at transaction management. I'm phenomenal at keeping my clients informed, involved in the process. Matter of fact, I'm even making like a Domino's pizza app, which we all know is full of shit. Do you guys all know that? Do you all know the Domino's pizza app is full of shit? Just checking. Ready? But I'm going to create that app where clients know exactly what's happening. I'm so passionate about it. What's your thing? What's your thing that we could build on you and your coach or with us together? What could you build on and make that strength something that's iconic in your business? I hope you're writing. I hope you're right. Okay, so I, like I said, the video that you see is behind, lags behind mine. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoy the, I hope you enjoy this and I hope that you start building and get passionate about what you want. And we're going to talk tomorrow more and I will see you all later. Thank you. I love you all. Bye-bye.